How remarkable. To get hitched on the ferry. Very cool. Uh, we're not going to get so lucky with the sun breaks this weekend, though. Yeah, that's right, Bill. So even though I'm not expecting Saturday, Sunday to be a washout by any stretch, and in fact, for the most part, we stay dry with just isolated showers, it will stay overcast all weekend long. Good luck finding a couple of sun breaks. The sun break challenge is on. Let me know if you see one this weekend. <laughs> For today, we're talking about 61 degrees. You can skip the sunglasses, rain jacket your friend, and long sleeves, a good idea for later on this afternoon. So with the forecast high of 61, this is officially 10 degrees below average. The record for today is 91, not even close to that. Big picture temperature trend for you. All through this weekend into Sunday, Father's Day, we're in the low 60s for highs. Finally, Monday, when Juneteenth is observed, we'll be boosting to the mid 60s. And there is a single day in the 70s on Tuesday. I actually suspect the day will wind up in the upper 60s, but I'm trying to be like positive and optimistic and give some people some hope. So maybe 70 degrees on Tuesday, strong maybe. <laughs> so that's the best I can do, everybody. Let's talk about what we're, what we're seeing out there right now on radar. Green areas, we have some light rain. Stephen Snoqualmie passes this morning. Future cast through eight, still calling for a lot of the shower action. Up over the higher elevations, surging into parts of Puget Sound by 10 a.m. this morning. The showers are ongoing for Puget Sound into 1130 230 as we pause the clock rain becomes a bit more widespread it might not be until eight o'clock tonight when the showers finally start to taper off for a couple of communities so be prepared for a damp and soggy afternoon with those highs in the upper 50s and low 60s unless you have really solid waterproof layers for doing any sort of outdoor activities it might be pretty unpleasant if you're getting outside in any capacity later on this afternoon. Now, that won't be the case tomorrow. Again, fewer showers on tap this weekend. Here's Saturday, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Widespread clouds, maybe a couple areas of spotty sprinkles, isolated pop-up showers through 1130 tomorrow morning into 3 o'clock. Sure, there could be a few areas of showers. Other spots just gray and cloudy with maybe a, a spotty sprinkle. That trend continues through 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Again, happy to report this weekend, not a washout, but gosh, it is going to be chilly. Highs only in the low 60s. Finally, 65 on Monday. Summer solstice with a potential high of 70. Upper 60s Wednesday and Thursday. More on those hourly temps right around the corner. Let's send things over to Adam for a check on your chat.